Nature has served me in so many ways. I saw how it changed my life. It really just gives me a sense of calm and peace. September 2019, I experienced a life-changing stroke. I went from being active to not being able to walk, not being able to talk. So it really put me in a depressed state. I actually called the Veteran Suicide Hotline. She was like, what is something that you always enjoy? And I said, being outdoors, but I can't get outdoors. So my son helped me walk down the stairs. I went out on the deck. Just hearing the birds and feeling the sun on my face, it was like giving me life back. My name is Bedia Barnett. I am a disabled Air Force veteran, the mom of three. I'm a senior campaign strategist, and so here I am. Disabled American veterans recently put out a report. What they found is that women veterans have a higher suicide rate than male veterans. It's really important to connect with women veterans where they are. And I do believe that exposing them to outdoor activities that are easy for them to access is life-changing. Being able to do that as a full-time job just allows me to reach more veterans um, and have more impact. Do you need ID to prove it? Because I have my little oh, ID. No. The Sierra Club Military Outdoors hosted a Food History of the South event. This event was for women veterans. It was a easy access point to the outdoors because they learned about heirloom seeds, planting pollinator bushes, and how these can have a great impact on our environment as well as conservation. I'm gonna be greedy, no problem. <laughs> good, 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 good. Hope to do more of this. For me, that was really special. I actually had a woman who got out in the 1970s. This was the first time she felt like she was in community with veterans who look like her. And I think it's important even for veterans to understand that all these lands are for us. They're for everybody. To now be three generations of women who have served our country proudly is super important to me. My mom, because she and I have been doing things outdoors, she's now bringing women veterans in their 70s along with her. For me, the legacy that I want to create is a life of service. When I leave from here, that, that is something that I would love for people just to say that, you know what, Bedia lived her life serving people and we saw people's lives change. <laughs>